Hey, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? As you guys know, I'm True Trees, and you villagers guys are kind of creeping me out, so I'm gonna come over here. Uh, but anyways, today I got a sweet, sweet tutorial for you guys. This is brand new, and um, this works for Minecraft, PlayStation 3, as well as the Xbox. And um, I'm looking forward for you guys to uh, seeing what I can do with this stuff. This is pretty sweet. And um, so, anyways, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make these magical beauties these are some floating books that's right they are books and they are in they are in air and I can, I can even show you well well I just deleted one whoops my fault yeah <laughs> they are floating they are um they are in fact above the ground you guys can see that um, so it's pretty sweet that um, I'm able to do this and it's actually really easy to do um, personally though I think it's in possible really if you really want to do this um in survival mode it, it, i mean it's doable however it's really hard to do um with the the items you need so you need an enchantment table an eye of ender as well as the end portal frame and uh, i mean it's really easy to do if you guys are in survival i mean if, <laughs> if you guys are in creative mode um as you can see i'm in creative mode and flying around right now in the air um, but anyways what you want to do is um you can make this pretty much on any surface, really. I mean, I can make it inside the house. I can make it um, on top of a mountain. I, I mean, it really doesn't matter where you want to make it. Um, however, you just have to follow the simple formula in order for it to work. Um, so what you want to do, um, you can lay down. Whoa, did I mean to click that? Um, you want to lay down three by three enchantment tables. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, my. Keep clicking it, man. My fault. And then what you want to do is then lay down the end portal frame around it. Here we go, like so, and then put it over here. Okay, then this is probably the only important step of this whole entire thing, because I mean everything is really basic, really. And I know people have messed up before. Um, so when when you're putting down the eye of Ender, you don't want to be like over here. Like you don't want to be like on the side of it. What you want to do is want to be above the books in the middle here. And you'll know you're doing it right because like the books are opening up. But I'm gonna float up a little bit so they close. You want to be above the whole entire frame, and that's like the biggest mess up that people do. Um, so then, what you want, dude, villager, get away, dude. You're creeping, me. dude. No, you're gonna get yourself hurt, man. You're gonna end up in the end. Oh man. All right. So, anyways, what you want to do then? You want to get the eye, eye vendor, and um, put it in the same direction when you're above the books, like so. And then, ready? Ready? It's the last one. You guys ready for this magic? Wham! Oh my gosh, they are floating. Dude, go in the end. <laughs> Looks like the villager is not in the end. It's kind of kind of crazy how you're not in there. Um, but anyways, yep, that's how you do it. That's the floating books. And then you can just delete these guys around it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. Dude, get off my... Oh, I'm sorry I had to kill you, man. Apologize for that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Now you have floating books, and then what's cool about this thing too? Um, if you really want you get me you just to fly down. Oops, delete the books you don't want. Um, you just gotta delete the like the block it's on, whatever. Here we go, like so. And then there you have it. Now we have one floating book for us. So that's so freaking weird. Uh, say if you're in like Hunger Games or something, and here yeah, I'll pull up a sword to make it more realistic. Um, look at a sword here. You're in Hunger Games. You got like a golden sword. You're like blah, 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 doing whatever. Oh my gosh, that's a what what is that? Is that a floating book? I th I think it is. Oh, it's kind of kind of weird. Um, well, what's what's funny about this is if you actually click it, you're gonna end up in the end. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new. This is brand new, and I want to give you guys all the latest Minecraft information. And if you walk right into the in the book, entering the end. Uh oh, you are doomed. You are literally doomed. Now it's you versus the Ender Dragon, and you're in this mi <laughs> mysterious place, and it does not look like you're able to get out from it. So, yeah, um, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a huge trap, um, and I recommend doing this in your Hunger Games worlds because it's kind of like a mine. Like, you know, like if, if someone walks right over, you don't even have to click it, and you just have to walk right over it, and you're going to enter in the end. So, it's pretty cool, something to do, and, um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would please smack the like button. Um, use this golden sword if you do so. And here, take some rotten flesh as well while you're at it. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Stay subscribed if you guys are not already. And if you guys have not subscribed, 
make sure you guys do so because I'm going to be giving you guys all the latest Minecraft PlayStation 3 tips as well as the other console information. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you.